Hello everybody, welcome to the World Cup round of 16 match between TIS123 and Ornan. Um, Ornan won the, won the toss with his humans and chose to kick, which I think is pretty weird because, you know, it's a bash mirror, likely to be 1-1 and go to overtime. And I, I think, you know, the, the offense is under a lot more pressure to use the rerolls than the defense. Um, and he's only got two, so... I'm not sure, I'm, you know, maybe he's just, you know, maybe he thinks kicking gives him the best chance to win in normal time. But, um, yeah, a little, little bit surprised by that. Um, Tiss with the Amazons. Tiss qualified from BB Tactics and doesn't play in Champs Ladder and is British. Ornan with the Humans has a 65% win rate Champs Ladder and he qualified from Rebel and he's American. So, a bit of background there for you. And, um, yeah, this is. It's it's interesting. This this would have been uh, this would have been my match had I won. Um, Ornan did take tackle on this guard guy, um, so he had double tackle, which you know maximizes his chance of winning this game, but maybe maybe not so good for the game after if he wins. And um, Tiss just took an extra guard, I believe. On uh, one of his, one of his blitzers. Yeah, this blitzer got a guard. So he does have four guard, and Ornan only has three guard. I think Ornan is a little bit um, kind of paying for his pommel of this game because you know everybody else took mighty blow tackle. Um, had he taken mighty blow tackle like everybody else. Um, he would have then had a guard on this guy, and then could have taken tackle on that. So he'd, he'd basically just had a tackle might he bought an extra guard. He's quite guard light here, although he's got the strength up. He's only got three guard versus four. Um, and as you can see, Tiss going straight for the guard there. First chance he gets, Bosch. Um, might he bought not actually having an effect. So now he's now at two guard versus four. And... Uh, I'm not really a fan of the Mighty Blow. <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of the Mighty Blow for Tiss's team here, just because I would have gone max guard. Absolutely 100% max guard. Also, I'd have gone block on uh, on the line woman so that she'd have block and guard. Um, I mean, this is okay. Obviously, wrestle, you know, it negates the need for tackle a bit. Um, no tackle on this team at all. So, you know, I'm, again, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's, it's not what I would have done. That doesn't mean... Well, much of anything does it. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna be Yeah, so hitting the hitting the blodge players with tackle, I think. You know, you wanna hit the blodges with tackle and the defenseless players with palm is the is probably the best way of doing it. Um, it's probably unlikely that they get three dice blocks, but I think that's kinda of, well, okay they all didn't get three, but you know what I mean. The palm the Pom is going to be unlikely to get 3Ds, so I think he only wants to hit line women, basically. It's quite a big bonehead there. I say that, it's early days, isn't it? It wouldn't matter if the Zons got to here this turn, it wouldn't even do anything. So. But, you know, a block hit on, a, on an Amazon would have been alright, wouldn't it? Mighty blow. Takes the 1D, removes himself, so now on is down two players. On turn two, which is not good. Down two players and down a guard as well. This is, uh, this should be an easy drive for Tiss now. Just taking a defenseless player. There's no one really, uh, maybe he's going to try to hit the guard, but then he's he's in on the ogre, which sucks, doesn't it? Could have tried to hit the tackler, I guess. But then he wouldn't be hitting with Mighty Blow. I'm getting a bit of a, a guard lock attempt in there. So yeah, 
the purpose of this is just purely attrition, wasn't it? Um, but then you get these guys in to 2D her and then 2D her. The problem with this is this one's a push. Now, if this one's a push, she's still in contact. And with two rerolls, I think. I don't think I would have rerolled that. Again, it's not to say it's wrong. But all he's saving is, is a AV roll on his arm. Um, because, you know, she's still connected, so she's still going to make a block next turn. So he's still giving up a two dice block next turn. So I don't think he got much value out of that reroll. Um, okay, he got to make this one dice and got lucky. But I'm not sure about that reroll. Tiss hasn't. You know. A lot of people mentioned the fact that uh, oh, I can't remember Nerd Frog, I think, versus Guinness. Nerd Frog ended with five rerolls. Um, you know, the, the thing with Amazons is, unless you greed re rolling hits, they've got dodge for all their dodges and they've got a bunch of blocks, so they're not too likely to have to re roll much, are they? Just the occasional two dice block. Or this GFI, maybe. Ooh. So yeah, they, they don't really need a lot of re-rolls. I guess, you know, Tiss could have gone three re-rolls and, and a 14th player. Both, play, both players have 13. But well, both coaches have 13 players. I quite like this is a quite a decent base cage because while he's there and he's got a tackle and there's no guard or anything, there's also no support. Um, on and like white went quite hard over this side. So there's no nobody to come back. So a, an example of a good base cage there from from Tiss. I'm not sure I like blitzing a Blodger with that. Um, again, he's, he's rolled the ball down, so if he hit a defenseless player, well, not defenseless player, a blockless player, he'd have got the knockdown there with Pong, wouldn't he? Pretty, uh, can have a pretty big turn now. Can knock over the tackle and strand him, and then move a bunch of guys up here. It's a big, pretty big stun there, isn't it? On a tackle, very nice. Surprised about the blitz, I think I'd have just blocked with a rookie. Just to keep him tied up for next turn. But And then maybe blitz with this guard and run him over or something. I think that's what I would have done. It's not wrong, but it's just he's letting the letting the tackle and maybe hit somebody. Isn't it? Also, he's exposed the guard, the blockless guard to the pom, which is a bit a bit dodgy, isn't it? Fail the dodge, get KO'd. I mean, you know, this is the thing. Amazon's like a one, you know, eight out of nine. They make the dodges, but it's still a bit tricky. I like that he tagged him first. So that if you fail the dodge, the ogre wouldn't be able to slam into the cage. Ah, using the guard of the tackler rather than the tackle. Fair enough. Well, there's a lot of fighting down here then. He's only got two players, so he's basically giving up the score by doing that on him. Uh, by, by sacrificing his tackler over here. Making this blitz. Gets the pile on. Kills him. <laughs> or her. Whatever. A um, little bit surprised at no Apple there, because he's got 13 players. Uh, I guess 13 players isn't that many for Amazons. But. A little bit surprised, because it's a quality player, isn't it? Um, certainly. 
I would have been okay with an apple then. I don't think it was like an obvious non-apple. Sometimes it's like, why would you ever, why would you ever apple that? Um, that one I thought he could have appled. It was like, you know, there was a choice to be made for that one. Again, no pros and cons for trying it, but um, he didn't seem to consider it very much. Whereas I think I would have. I'd have had a big think about that one. I would have used the full 15 seconds. Um, you know, I probably. Probably wouldn't have uploaded, but you never know. So just maximizing blocks. Let's kill. Okay, any apples that aggressive apple there by Orna. Um which is surprising, you know, because I was really surprised by that apple. Really incredibly surprised because and then, and then his tackler gets killed the same turn. <laughs> um, I was incredibly surprised by that because. Ornan has given up on this drive, you know, last turn when he moved away. I know he's down players and everything, but he gave up by moving away and only having two, two, two versus five over there. So he'd given up on this drive. So he knows that this is going to score on turn eight. So he's going to be 75% to get that guard guy back that he uploaded. So I was a bit surprised by that, but, but you know, he, th he thought it was the right thing to do. So that's, that's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, I just, I just thought it was weird because that, that's the sort of apple you'd make. Um, it's also on turn it's five or something, so it really was just to avoid the 75% coming back for the second half. And there's the you know possibility of overtime. He hasn't taken any cars yet, but you don't know what's going to happen. You know, I would have rather had it for an apple on my own drive or the next half. So yeah, weird apple. Um, but you know, weird apple in my opinion, obviously. Probably not in Orman's opinion, he thought it was the right thing to do, so that's fair enough, isn't it? Huge foul now on the, on the pawn. Is that even a pawn? No. Nothing. That, that, that foul could have could have uh, decided the game, couldn't it, if he casts the palm? Not really, because he hasn't got tackle. So it's, it's not so frightening, the palm. Um, it was pretty terrifying for me, because I had so many defenseless players. But... Not really for this. And now he now he's got the now he's got the pressure on the turn too late basically, isn't it? So yeah, just stop. So pretty good half for um for Tiss there. He did like although he made the three kills, which made the, the drive a lot easier, he did take a cars on the guard. Which you know I He's lost quality for the second half and has a chance of losing players. Whereas you'd imagine this guy's going to come back for Ornan. So in Tiz's first game, he made the worst possible one-turn touchdown defense, which is backlining it and then having three close together. Let's see if he let's see if he does the tight LOS this time. Is not, but um, even this, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, humans are movement eight. Um, I would like to see just this line, maybe it's further forward, because it just seems like a suboptimal defense, one turn defense, really. Um, you've got to think about the possibility of a ride. You've also got to think about, you know, giving up the extra hit, but the extra hit I don't think is so scary as Amazon's. And he gets the riot on oh, the dirty Dino, so he didn't set up for the one turner at all, and then got a riot. That's uh, that's pretty lucky, isn't it? To have not, I, I don't know why. Uh, 
I don't, I'm a little bit surprised, that's, that's a better way of putting it, that he didn't set up for the uh, one turn. I think he's got a reroll, he saved a reroll for it, because last turn he hit with a pom and didn't knock over. So he saved a reroll for this one turn, and then didn't try the one turn, he was just going to make attrition blocks. And you know, there's, there's obviously, even against Zons, there's a point to attrition blocks, but I think going for the... Going for the... Um, one turn. I think I should definitely go now. Cheeky Kaz. And yeah, was the badly hurt for numbers. Which is, which is fair, you know. I mean, that's obviously why I didn't apple that, because he wanted to use it for numbers. But I think if you're just using the apple for numbers, then maybe you're better off with three rerolls. I don't, know. I don't think you had to do this pass yet, this blitz yet. Um, so he's used his last reroll on a turn over there. I don't think he had to do it yet. I think he could have done the pickup and the pass before he did that. So I think maybe he's uh, maybe he's kind of wasted a reroll a little bit there. Also, can he hit here? One, two, three, four, five, six, GF5, GF5. Not really. Um, well maybe the guard could have been one square back. As it is, he gets powered. Oh, mighty bone KO. Could be a game deciding riot, though, couldn't it? Having all these guys back means that he can screen off a bit, but I don't know. I just think you know, even against Agility Three, just screening off leaves everything up to chance. Now, okay, it was a it was a one turn defense, really. You know, the, the riot uh, didn't help him, but so this is a big turn, isn't it? Is there a, is there a good way to go here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can go laterally two squares so he's, he's kind of got to block him away and then i know he can he could dodge this way so going this way i think is just straight away out because there's too many people so you've got to go this way and i guess you could try and block these two down somehow one to there and one to there and then dodge and score that's the way isn't it and um, i don't know if he's got enough guard players or anything so he does blitz the marker i don't know i think i would have not I think I'd have used my blitzes here and here. I'll uh, use blitz one of these. And block the other. Just looking at it there anyway, I don't know. And then he won in nines, and that wasted reroll comes back to haunt him. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how easy it was to, to knock these two over, but that was my first instinct with the and if he couldn't get there, then I guess doing what he did was, was probably probably good. That seemed a bit of an irrelevant block there. But there you go. If you're gonna one in nine, you're gonna one in nine as humans, aren't you? You ain't gonna you ain't gonna win if you one in nine. <laughs> you ain't gonna achieve anything. Um, so he's got his guys back. So now Orin's up to thirteen, and Tiss is down to twelve. So, yeah, maybe, maybe Tish should have just come three rerolls and 14 players. Maybe that would have been better. But then, you know, having the rerolls in overtime is good, isn't it? So. Hard to say. Hard to say what, what, whether the 13th player or the, the fourth reroll would be better. But certainly, Zons don't need too many rerolls. But it, with you don't have sure hands, so it doesn't mean you can always commit to rerolling pickups with four. And you can push your luck a bit more in defense and stuff, breed a few things. And I think it's you know, and obviously in overtime, if it if it goes to you know into overtime, it's got the reroll advantage, which can be crucial. So we've got the offset LOS, um, unlike unlike Bernie um, on um, sets up. A, a good presence in the other, in the other half to stop getting blitzed on. However, like Bernie, he has he has taken his ogre away from the middle, which uh, I really hate not having the ogre in the middle. I would have absolutely had the ogre in the middle there. 
Um, so that was a bit, a little bit dodgy, I think. Dodgy, dodgy yoga position there for sure. You want him in the middle, don't you? Exerting more influence, basically. I'm also a little bit not sure about the blitz, but uh, fair enough. He's got these blocks to come. But seeing as he's kind of not likely to knock over the zones on the LOS, I might have waited to use my blitz to uh, blitz there. It's a cans. So now uh, Tiss is at 11 players max for the rest of the match. So here's the power. So yeah, if he'd if he'd waited on the blitz, he could have blitzed the one who was who was already based, which might have been a good thing. I mean, he's based by guard and tackle, so. Probably not going to be able to do anything, but it would have been an option, wouldn't it? And another Kaz, so... Yeah, all of a sudden, Tiss has gone from dominating the first half with a bunch of KOs to just taking a couple of Kaz, and now, you know, it's looking very grim for, for Tiss in the space of one turn. <laughs> gone from having a man advantage for the whole of the first half, really. Oh, well. Got, got one back there. And, uh, yeah, so he's, ta he's taken four cards total, Tiss, because he, he appled one. On an apple to KO, and now takes his first cards, but that doesn't make any difference in terms of if he gets to overtime, which, you know, it is all that Ornan can play for now. And, and this is another thing that I don't really like about humans. Um, you know, Wood Elves could could push for the win if, if they had to. Um, all humans can do what any of the Bash team is, is you know, score on turn 8 of their own drive. And obviously, you know, overtime is good for them because these games that they can't win, they get the second chance in overtime. There's like there's no way, or, you know, if, if this if this had to be decided in in normal time, on and just if he tries to win, he'll lose probably, which uh, does suck a bit, doesn't it? I don't really like this uh, cage here. It's kind of inviting a lot of pressure, isn't it? Just goes for the two dice. Could have made that three. I wouldn't have hated making that three dice and. Uh, you know, basing up, although it's scary down two players. Uh, well, only down one net. Nine versus ten. And the stun. Um, you know, it's easy to say I would like a, a more aggressive defence there. It's not so easy to do it when you're the one playing the game and you don't want all your players to die and everything, so... Absolutely fair that Tiss didn't engage, but I would have. I think maybe it would have been a better idea to have, have engaged heavily there. Just setting up an ogre blitz here, maybe. Maybe just a blitz, a blitz, and then an ogre move. Yeah, she's so getting the palm on the defenseless guy. Another chance. <laughs> Just with Mighty Blow, though, he didn't need the pine on this time. Yeah, and then get the ogre in. Ah, oh, it's a three players, that's pretty good. And gets the ogre back to the middle as well. Now, with uh, three players down for this drive, so eight, ten versus eight. Looking pretty good for Orna. This is just gonna have to. I mean, all he can do is really try to elf screen, isn't it? It's a bit, bit of a bad situation for him. Smashes the uh, 
Smashes the ogre. <laughs> Kills him. Uh, well, not dead, but badly hurt. That would have been a nice one to have over overtime, wouldn't it? Um, wow. So, so that's actually pretty big. A strength 5 guy out. He's still got less guard. Three guard, but oh no, three versus three, yeah, he took out the guy. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think I like this. I don't think I like the one dice at all, the reward. Um, no. Not a fan of that, but definitely a fan of casting the ogre. So now this is what? Nine. Nine versus eight. So not a huge advantage, you know, normally you'd think making five Kaz in a game, you would have an easy ride of it. But he's only got a one-man advantage um, on the pitch. And, you know, if, against a team, of, a team full of dodge, things can still happen. Second pylon of the match. Second Kaz of the match <laughs> from piling on. So, so this 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 piling on guy's made three Kaz this game just by himself. Two weeks, two weeks had to pile on. Now, now one has the guard advantage. There's two players up. This is a huge block though, absolutely huge. Because if he if he didn't get the knockdown there, and he gets the AB break, if he doesn't get the pow. That's just one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, pretty easy one nurse on the ball. So yeah, he had to dodge out. He would have had to dodge out there as well. So a little bit, a little bit risque. On and bravely, bravely battling with about the five Amazons that he's got. Get to gas. So this is this is pretty crazy for Kaz this half, isn't it? Ornan's down to eight, and uh, Tiss is down to seven. But only five. He can move that turn because the two stuns. And yeah, eight versus seven isn't great, really, for protecting the ball, isn't it? Being a tackle blitz. Not sure, not sure where this guy was. Maybe he had a rush of blood after causing all the cars. <laughs> what do I? Oh, yeah, I guess in 2D there, but. Forces him to use real. I don't know, I think maybe he's playing safe and just caging might have been the best play there and then go for a one dice. Because now. Um, we've got can run around here, two dice there, and then get a one dice on the ball easily. Easy one dice on the ball, isn't it? That's it, easy. You need to power here. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three. So that was a bit bit of a mistake by Onan, I think. He could have just he could have just caged up, but he wanted that extra hit. Um, and isn't that lucky to get the catcher? <laughs> Onan with a lucky scatter. <laughs> um, that was incredible. Incredible that the catcher catches that. Um, and you know, really that was... It was a bit greedy getting the extra block rather than just securing the ball, wasn't it? Wrestle doing something good there. Yeah, but then also not because it gives him a gap. <laughs> so it's good in terms of the movement that he's costing him next turn and, and taking down the guard, but that gave him the hole to get through, didn't it? So 
obviously there's an easy two dice on the ball here with a dodge. Um, the thing is, keeping this guy occupied is actually pretty good. So I wouldn't hate going around this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. Adds a double GFI, but the failure state's a lot better. Um, because you'll, be, you'll have a player knocked down here instead of a player knocked down here. But I guess either way, it might force the, uh, the early score, the one turn early score. This way he's got in for the recovery. And one in nine for the dodge. So a bit pretty unlucky there to be honest. He's he's had the he's had the ball sack and then had the uh, catcher catch it, and now he's had a dodge for two dice and failed it. So as well as all the cars, <laughs> as well as the four cars this drive. So I think I think uh, Tiss has definitely been a bit unlucky here. There's no real way to stall this. Is stall this is the. Ronan. So I think I think this block is horrible, an absolutely horrible block, because he's blocking without block on a turn where he's going to score anyway, and he's got one reroll left for all the time in a best case scenario. So I think that was a really, really incredibly greedy block, which I would call bad. <laughs> now of course if it, if he gets a cast from it, it looks good, uh, but I think that was was a lot of risk with that block. Wow. You know, one in nine to, to be re-roll this for the, for the, just stopping the two-turn. Now, granted, Zons aren't great at two-turning, especially not when they've got eight players to do it. Um, but there's a chance. How many does Zonan have? Three, six, ten. So eight versus ten. You know, and, and Tiss, has, Tiss has still got three re-rolls. I think he absolutely has to put both re-rolls into scoring here. Has to do everything he can to um, to make this, you know, to win in normal time. Because I don't think he's going to win in overtime when he plays. I'm not, I'm not sure about this defense either, really. Um, You know, people people do do this kind of like a little bit deeper than normal. You know, to have the flexibility to go with some of the stuff. But and humans are pretty fast. I don't know. It seems a bit passive. So sweltering heat on the uh, on the weather that should favour Tiss if it goes to overtime. Because I like I like going down that way anyway. Hasn't got block, but then he hasn't got dodge, so I guess it's six and two three. He doesn't need a assist though. Well, that should assist Tiss, shouldn't it? Because Ornan's got to make ten rolls, nine rolls now. Um, so if this goes to overtime, Ornan's got to make nine swallowing heat and a KO, and Tiss has only got to make eight swallowing heat rolls. So he's got three. Three scoring threats. So I think now he makes the pick up and two GFIs. And then this one, I would go over this side. So you've got two either way. And I would have absolutely re rolled that. 100%. I would have 100% re rolled that. Yeah. Yeah, I would not have. I would have absolutely re-rolled that. I just don't think, you know, I would not save them for overtime. I think he has to win in normal time. So giving giving on another basically another free removal there for the for the half. Yeah, I think he absolutely had to re-roll that. Um, I would have gone all in on scoring here. I mean, could have gone either way. I like you know he could have had two on each side or he could have had three on one. Either way is, you know, I mean, if this guy's upright, then um, then this guard has got to then go here, hasn't he, or something? But there's still a pretty pretty easy score here. I say I say that, you know, he's got the one dice blitz there after a dodge, and then he's got a one dice block here, 
And then he's just got the pass and score. He just <laughs> this is pretty makes a few rolls for no reason because he hasn't he's got guard, so that was a bit of a a bit of a mistake there from Tiss. Um, not a bit of a mistake, a huge mistake making a bunch of dice rolls that didn't need to happen. And uh, yeah, he goes for the big pass. Rerolls this one. And fails it. So, you know, th this one, maybe this one could have just stayed behind the line, so he could have done a short pass to them and then a hand off. Although that would have failed anyway. I think running down there and not rerolling was absolutely the wrong play. Um, so it's gone to overtime. <laughs> Six Kaz versus three. <laughs> the Amazons have to win the coin toss to even stand a chance here. And they do. But they get screwed by the heat. Two players off. None. So, so Tiss has failed two out of eight rolls. And Ornan has filled none out of nine, and he's made the four plus for the KO. So now it's uh, now it's just a massacre, isn't it? Six versus ten. So yeah, this is going to be, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say it's over, but he's got six players. So you know, you could put, you could. Block him and then blitz. Maybe he's not even blitz. Just get some players downfield. I think he should try and score here. Uh, mighty blow on him, and then another guy there, another guy there, and then one back. It's uh, it's hard and it's it's horrible, but there's like a vague chance, isn't there, of getting forward. Um, even just even just basically as blocking there, blocking there, and then getting two players. Downfield. Maybe that was his intention. But maybe the rest will change. Yeah, I don't know. Kill the guy. Okay. I mean, if this, if if Ornan had failed two out of nine, and Tiss had failed none out of nine, then this would be looking almost fair now, wouldn't it? But that's really, that's really horrible. We failed two out of eight, and an Ornan failing none out of nine and his KO coming back. That's a real killer, but yeah, maybe he's, uh, you know, it's still been horrible. I think he had to not make the blocks on the LOS, and then, what, have the ball out of range. It was just, you know, maybe you could argue he should have gone for the score, but as it is, he's just trying to stall out the half by the looks of it, um, you know, which is really, really asking a lot. To, to, to stall out an entire half here with, with no Amazons. Um, you know, he's, he's got agility. If he had agility 4, and he could do a lot of, you know, movement 8. Wood Elves could just run around here and, you know, cage up over there and, and all sorts of things Wood Elves could do. But um, as Amazons, it's really asking a lot because he's, he's got the two tackle on him. So he can, he can put the tackle in spots where it's relevant. Gets another removal. <laughs> Crikey. So yeah, this is this is looking really, really, really bad for Tis now. But he's he's given himself a chance, isn't he? He's, <laughs> he's got the ball and a blodger. The tacklers are far away, so you know, this isn't so bad. I mean it's terrible, he's got five players. <laughs> but there's a vague there's the vaguest chance of basically Ornan letting him off the hook and you know, letting him get somebody upfield and doing a pass to him. There's there's a slight chance, because you know Humans are still slow in Agility 3, so it takes a little bit for humans to get something going here. Like, you know, it's going to take some commitment of men. Yeah, bracketing those. 
Oh, fouling one. Ooh, that's a bit... This is a bit risky, isn't it? Because if he gets sent off here, it gives him the 3 plus out. He doesn't know. Dodges away. Wouldn't blitzing with the other guy be even better? No, I guess not if it's a not if it's a push. So he blitzes with him. Which gives him three plus out, so yeah, that's fair enough, isn't it? And he's he's surviving somehow his tiss. The basic screen there. And he makes the dodge out. And he brings he brings her back. So he's got He's got four players standing up, <laughs> still fighting, you know, you've got to admire this, haven't you? Uh, you know, there were some people, some people who basically gave up in the World Cup, which was a bit sad. But um, Tiss is certainly doing all he can with with five movement, six agility, three players on the pitch. Basically no hope. Ball getting based by tackle if you turn. Sucks. One for the foul again. This gives him a 3 plus dodge out though. So, I don't know why he didn't just foul the first guy. Um, so he'd have still been bracketed, but now. This Amazon is not bracketed. Clears the tackler. And now he's going to pass to this one and run away. Um, yeah, this is... It's still pretty crap. <laughs> and especially... As uh, <laughs> as he had to do it, past the catcher, you know, thirty percent intercept instead of instead of uh, seventeen. Well, thirty, thirty point three or something, isn't it? Six with a reroll is is about one in three. Um, I don't know what he's doing here. I think he should have made this block first. Absolutely, absolutely should have made this block first. I don't know if you could blitz with him or not, because now. <laughs> now he can't blitz with him, <laughs> so he's got to make a GFI. So I think this was a bit, you know, they they were safe moves first, but also it made him make a riskier move with the GFI later. Um, irrelevant pylon, why not? And there you go, that's it, one in overtime. So you know, congrats to one and there. I think Tiss will definitely feel a bit hard done by taking so many cars, and then the heat as well. I mean, if he had just if he had just made his heat rolls and on and had failed, some it could have gone the other way. Um, I mean, you know, he did a lot. Tiss did a lot of damage as well, as you can see. Fourteen AV breaks, uh, five KOs for four cars versus one KO and six cars. Um, did out blocked, um, but you know, it's it's one of those things, isn't it? He just took too much damage before the overtime, basically, and maybe maybe Tis could have done some things differently. Maybe Onan could have done, but at the end of the day, well played to both of them. Congrats to Onan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.